Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae. So, we're about to enter the second dungeon. The, uh... Right, you have to hold up. Uh, the, uh, desert... No, golem mine. Right, because we're looking for the golem stone. We have acquired this special move recently. Um, and also... Oh, okay, we have a new type of enemies. I'm not sure if I can hurt them at all. Seem protected by their shell. Okay, they can attack though. And not just obstacles. Hmm. Oh, okay, never mind. They do take damage. Just uh, takes a moment. Spinny pot with a full heal right here, which I suppose is nice. Oh, can you. Hmm. Wait. Running jump does just barely get you there. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Can you hit them like this? You absolutely can. Okay. Huh. Seemed to take a lot more hits before, but. I don't know. I guess not. You have such a short range with this attack. Hmm. Okay, they do appear to be invulnerable while they're hiding in their in their shell. These can't be destroyed now. Okay. Hmm. Okay, the first split in the path. Except we can't go through here. Once again, confirming my suspicion, or, well, not confirming, but strengthening my suspicion that uh, we will get the elephant transformation here and that that will give us some sort of dash tackle that might be able to break through certain barriers. But this looks so suspicious. Everything looks suspicious. You know what? Why even. Mm, okay, well. Why even bother fighting all these enemies? And then. Oh, interesting. Then of course the the one enemy the first enemy I decide to actually ignore. Oh wait oh you can just press up and down that's convenient. So no real need to in interact with that uh, machinery unless I guess you need to call the elevator down to your level. Oh wait you need to go down. Well there's one of the squids. It does keep going down. Okay. This needs a key, and this also needs a key. Alright. All the way to the bottom it is. Alright, okay. Uh, I mean, I'm guessing I'll take damage. Wait. Never mind. I'm, I've been turned red. Hmm. So, okay. This turns me blue. Unsurprisingly at this point. What the heck are you guys? Um, okay. Kind of like the... Ah, uh, well. I wonder if I can hit you with this. Oh, yeah, I totally can. Okay. And you actually don't take that many hits, so... I'm, I'm guessing that guy down there? Wait. Oh, never mind. That's not an enemy, presumably. Also, that guy was just one shot? Interesting. Okay, so he runs away from me. So this is kind of a polarity thing. Where I'm charged with the blue type of charge, and I'm uh, pushing away similarly colored things. Um, I guess it's possible that it makes me immune to red lava, but then again, probably not. Thanks for the one-up. Let's not immediately <laughs> jump into lava. Hmm, okay. So I had to... wait, did I have to be... Yeah, okay, I was forced to turn blue, of course, before entering this side of things, and now that I'm red, I might be able to do something with this thing down here? Hey, buddy. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, okay, I am attracting you now. So, I'm gonna try to reach you. Um, ah, oh, okay, so you were just a kind of sentient, maybe? Chest? Interesting. Alright, pretty straightforward. I did not see anything that indicated any shenanigans. Any anything hidden? Any places that I couldn't reach? But of course, if I see them, they're not that well hidden. So, well, we'll see. Oh, oh, okay, an elephant statue. Yep. Well, if I needed any more confirmation, so I'm red. That means that I'm immune to lava, right? No, <laughs> that does not mean I'm immune to lava at all. Well then, in that case, since I obviously cannot do anything with this, oh. 
Hold on. Wait. Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay. Well then, uh, I mean, we have a key. We can go up one level and open one of the doors. Um, yeah, well, unless there is an extremely finicky hitbox, it does not seem like you can hit those uh, stalactites and create little platforms, which is the association that I had, but, um, well. Let's see, um, I mean, I'm pretty sure I mean, I'm, I'm very sure that it doesn't matter. If I didn't miss something else, then it's obviously going to be okay. Okay, so you're trying to reach me. Wait. Yes, yes, you are trying to reach me. Aren't you? Why are you falling over and not attacking? Hmm. I'm not sure what oh, this is all about. Excuse me. Interesting. Complete accident. Mm, oh wait, I okay. So you just go crazy when I approach, because you cannot handle my redness. Um. Okay, so that was just a way to bypass this. Are you sure? Um. Hold on. Down. Right. Wait. Down. There we go. Oh, it takes me a little bit to get back into the rhythm of things. Hmm. And this screams hidden items, but um, okay, that's this is a ceiling. Right, I never did kill this one. Hmm. Maybe killing them does something for me, other than them not being in the way. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's strange. Here we turn blue again. Unless I didn't want to kill those, but... Why? Oh, oh god. What the... What the heck are you? Just an enemy? Okay. You seem increasingly more distressed, or maybe not? Okay, you can die. Thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah, these chains seem to be purely decorative. Hmm. Okay, blue thing. I'm guessing this would just be a barrier? Okay, yeah. I see. So... Here we switch sides, we cannot go back up. So far so straightforward, and here I have to turn into monkey. go. And we are indeed blue monkey now. Yeah, I guess I'll take you out. Just in case. Ouch. Of course. Uh, I'm getting a little bit low on hit points here. Please don't do that. Oh, wow, that shoots far sometimes. Three, four, five. Ah, dang it. Okay, thanks for the hearts. That's much appreciated. Okay, is there anything up there, perhaps? Of course, these are barely possible. Ah, uh -huh, okay. I mean, this is just another case of a uh, little shortcut back. Hmm, I guess I might as well try. There are only two ways to find out. That's not the correct dance move. Oh, God, I'm gonna get so confused about... Hmm, really? Yeah. I'm gonna get so confused about what combination does what as soon as I have multiple transformations. I hope they're all gonna be similarly easy. And that they're not gonna get, go too crazy. Hmm. And that's a point. I could... I guess I could use this. Hmm. Wait, I did by bypass this. 
come out blue. I was already blue. So I would have been blue if I just walked through. So I'm guessing that something... That for something... Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, but now he might be stuck because... Yeah, okay. So here I, I want to be red to lure him out. Okay. I see. So that's the trick. So I guess in this case it's it was necessary and not just... One of these disappointing little shortcuts. That he might have reset. In fact, wait. He has reset. Oh, he's dropped down. Hello. Wait, okay. Last time he did stay here. Ah, yes. Okay, come out. And should get me another key. Wonderful. Which means, if nothing else, I can now open the other door on the opposite side. But... This also continues somewhere. Or it might just... Well, we'll see. Actually, I've... Mm, interesting. I could backtrack all the way. Or I could continue here. I mean, again, I'm... Definitely not expecting the game to... Oh, th that was a one-way trip. I see. Um, I don't think I missed anything down there. So let's just keep going. Ah, ah, next transformation. Okay, good. Yeah. So I guess I chose wisely. Hmm, I wonder. I guess I wouldn't have gotten the transformation quite yet if I hadn't chosen the right door first. So that was uh, fortuitous. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm absolutely sure that the dungeon is designed in such a way that you cannot softlock yourself by using the, the key on the wrong door first. So uh, yeah. Maybe that other path is just optional. The Guardian of this Labyrinth, but a terrible creature imprisoned me here. For your kindness, I will teach you a magical dance you can use to foil evil. Watch closely. Thankfully, I don't need to actually pay attention to that. Was that three parts? No, actually. Oh, okay. It's just down and left. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad that they didn't think they needed to make these increasingly more complex. Because that really is not necessary. Yes, yes. Thanks. I'm not going to have to practice too hard for this one. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful, I say, please. Really? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Oh, we can't? Okay. I mean, that is a... This is the tackle animation. You press the attack button once, and you cannot move while you're moving in this way. You can also not run. So it's really just that, that uh, tackle move. Oh, and you... I cannot even drop through here. Okay, and you're relatively slow. Obviously, you cannot jump very well. But you can break things, which is crucial. And this just loops back here. I see. Which means um, that I'm out of keys, so I cannot immediately go to the other side. But of course, there are things I can do. Bonk. Oh, wow, you can absolutely not. Well, I mean, thankfully that's not an issue, because I can always... Transform back. Okay, here we want to be red to return back upstairs. We'll see, I guess. I mean, I should be able to traverse this backwards unless... Uh-oh, wait. No, I don't. Okay, fair enough. Um, so here... We basically have to reverse the trick and turn blue, and then use the shortcut, or the roundabout path. I really hope I didn't already miss any, any squids. Um, I'm assuming? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Assuming correctly that I... Wait. <laughs> Hold on a second. Um... Unless this is indic- oh, okay. Yeah, those are indicating that there is a path there. Hmm. Okay, this does allow me to go all the way back out. Wonderful. 
I'm glad. At least the way back was relatively straightforward. Hmm. Okay. Force to turn blue. Hmm. Yeah, what's up with this upper path, though? Is there something I'm missing? Maybe if I had not been... They were blue, right? If I had been the opposite color, they might have attacked me, but... I don't think that's even possible. You have to be blue when you're here. Don't you? Uh, I guess... Not technically. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, no key. But, um, we do... Actually, wait, no, never mind. Hmm. Well, we can break through here. Or here. Wasn't there something... Above, I forget. That might not have been. Hey, right, no. This, I don't think so. This was the very first screen, basically. I don't remember any obstacles there, any breakables. Uh, so, let's see. I'm gonna break both of these, hoping that these will stay destroyed. I really wish you could at least run a little bit faster. I mean, as it is, you probably never want to be an elephant unless you have to break something, right? Except that maybe... Oh. I mean, this guy's basically a rock. Hmm. Except he's gonna make it really awkward to even just... I can't attack him. Wait, what? Oh, wow, he... It, okay, I did not expect to one-shot him like this. So, uh, that was neat. Of course, I wasted a lot of health even getting close to him. That's good to know, though. Okay, we got that guy running away from me. We got evil red dude, which was easy enough to destroy. He looked way tougher than that. Hmm. So, I want to... Oh, do exactly this. I guess if I had messed up, I would have just uh, had to reset. Because, uh, yeah, if I had chased him into one of these corners... I, and honestly, I don't know if I just... I must have just gotten lucky in avoiding that. Because I certainly was not trying to avoid it. Specifically. But yeah. I mean, he would, would have been stuck, right? And There was no way to get him... To force him back out. Wild blue. Hmm. Okay. I'll take it. It does seem like uh, Barriers do stay destroyed, at least so long as I don't completely exit the dungeon. Hmm. Maybe those things are never dangerous. Huh. Who knows? Okay. Ah, yeah, okay. Is there something else hiding here? Hmm, doesn't seem like it. There's gotta be a point, right? Oh! Indeed there is. Nice. I bet it does. Okay, that's one squid. Out of maybe five? I don't know if it's gonna be five per dungeon. I mean, would that even make sense? Well, um, would that even make sense? I was about to say. Um, on the right side, we have four friendly NPCs. Clearly, we have uh, Mimic, we have Bo Bo Bolo, is that his name? We got uh, Sky? Honestly, I forget what she looked like, but it must be her. And then we have another person from the fourth town, which we don't know yet. And then we have a pirate guy. So, I'm assuming four cities, we know that there, there's four temples, so four cities, four temples. Um, each with five squids, which would make for enough tele squid teleports for each of the uh, for one for each of the towns, and then an extra one for Pirate Town. And if that if the dungeon of Pirate Town is the final dungeon of the game, then of course it would make sense to find enough squids for the final teleport before that time, because after that dungeon you won't need it anymore. Except for maybe completion purposes. But uh, that wouldn't make sense to me. But who knows. 
Also, I need to press start to get back out of here. And there's another one of these guys, and I'm gonna... Avoid him like so... Oh. It's not like he's hard to fight at all. Not even in the slightest. Okay, thanks for the free key. I mean, yeah, a one-shot as the elephant is nice, but, I mean, transforming takes time, is finicky-ish, and uh, you have a really hard time actually dodging him. Uh, there was something up the shaft, if I don't remember uh, incorrectly, <laughs> or if I do remember correctly, if you want to put it that way. Um, okay, I'm sure, yes, obviously this works. Oh, wait, oh. Is this intentional? I'm, I'm not sure if the game wants me to stand here, but I can, so I will. There's uh, probably an opening to the left. I'm not moving, though, in, in case there's really only one pixel holding me here. But I'm guessing this should work. Oh, please don't turn that way. There we go. I'm gonna turn back. Um, okay, you still hurt me, which is fair enough, I suppose. Oh, this is this squid. Nice. Awesome. Halfway to the next teleport already. That's gonna help a lot, having those two relatively distant, you know, teleports relatively far from each other uh, available. Let's see. There is not actually an opening. Never mind then. Uh, what was that? trying to do. I did fall down here. Right, this is the second the second one of these. Okay. Yes, yes. So I did fall down. I did get that. I did get another key. Uh, this turns me red. In fact, I have turned myself red. Okay. I guess it's, it makes sense, and it's not too surprising that you do one-shot <laughs> different kinds of rock-based enemies. Well then. I mean, not only is it awkward to play... Okay, those are the aggressive ones. Oh wow, they attack so relentlessly too. That is evil. But I guess once you're up here, it's not so bad because they... Never mind, they don't run away from you. At all. Thanks for the one-up. Well, I don't think I've ever had this many lives. Uh, yeah, anyway, so not only does the, does the game make it kind of awkward to be the elephant most of the time. Hmm, how's this gonna work? I want to be blue. Can I be blue? I forget if there was a color changer here. There was not? There was not. Wait. There was here. So it was blue initially. Hmm. Yeah, anyway. To finish the stupid sentence, um. It's, uh. Uh, wait. Oh, this is. Down here. Okay, that's the other door. Interesting. So to finally finish that sentence, my god. Um, it's relatively awkward to play as the elephant, except when you have to tackle something, or when you're faced with a rock-type enemy, but even then, uh, transforming just to fight the enemy, I don't know, I don't like that idea, so I'm probably usually not going to do that, um, except maybe for this boss that might be necessary, we'll see. Um, but yeah, in many, in many cases the game just outright puts ledges there for you to prevent you from playing as the elephant, even if you wanted to. So uh, there's that, I guess. How, where can I easily turn blue? Actually, oh no. Can I go this way if I want to be blue? So I have to. I have to uh, monkey again to go back up, right? I think so. Obviously, I was able to become blue up here at some point, so I will do, be able to do it again. It's so nice that enemies actually stay defeated. That is so much more convenient. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, wait, yeah, that's fine. 
That's fine. I can actually just go to the bottom. I just can't go through the door at the bottom. But I can go... Um, I'm absolutely losing track of where I am in the dungeon. Oh! Okay. Number three. That's neat. And something here? Nope. Alright, okay. That was kind of tricky. Yes, so we want to be blue. And, yeah, I'm absolutely <laughs> losing track of where I have and haven't been. Or where is what exactly. Although, only a little bit. Um, uh, do I want to be here? Yes. Because this way I can drop down here, head on over here. That's what I wanted. Okay, good. Alright. And now you actually get attracted to me. And I can just go ahead and open you. And get another key. What I don't remember is where I need that. Where have I not been at this point? Also, interesting, right, the other interesting point that I... Wait, hold on, just a second. Is there anything above here? No? No, okay. Um... Yeah, if I had opened this door first, because that was an option, I just came out here. So technically I could have gone around and saved one key, which is actually interesting to think about. I absolutely did not have to open this unless... No, but I... I could, could have totally ignored this, just traveled back up and around and used the elevator to uh, go to the bottom if I needed to turn red, for example. Hmm. But if I had chosen to open this instead of the one on the right, would have ended here, turned red, I would have killed this golem guy for for the key, gone over here, I would have been red so I wouldn't have been able to get that the key that way. But yeah, I would have traveled up here, but I would have been stuck ultimately. So I would have gotten one key back, the key that I used here, but if I hadn't gone here first I had not would not have had the elephant transformation. and. I would have needed that to uh, open the door, the passageway, one level up from here, on this side. Okay. I see. Um, yeah, but again, I don't really remember. Let's just call this down real quick. I hope this goes quick. Wow. That does take a while, because it was reset all the way to the top. So... I mean, I have been on both of these sides, haven't I? I have, haven't I? Yes, obviously been... Oh, wait. Elephant? Right, I forgot about this. Um, well, I can only assume that being an elephant somehow helps here. I'm not entirely sure how. Do I tackle the elephant statue? I do. That causes those to drop. Okay. Is this made in such a way... I mean, you, you do have some jump distance. I... Press the jump button, and I did not jump. Great. And the game doesn't really seem to eat a lot of inputs. Hi there. Um, but of course, when it happens, it tends to happen at the worst possible time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I cannot reach that. That seems too high. That would be squid number four. So hopefully, I'm correct, and that there is there are four squids that you can get. I mean, hopefully I'm right and there are five squids total and, you know, the final one I might be able to get. I mean, I, I could try, but this is too high to jump up to and I don't... I'm, I'm absolutely sure that I cannot jump as a monkey from the... from that corner, so... No way, unfortunately. We do have the extra key, okay, so that's where we needed that. Just trying to look for those secret passages and the ceilings. Whenever I remember. Okay. Put up something here. Nothing indicating any secret passages on the walls. That is a heart. Thanks, I guess. Oh, we don't have an extra key. No, that's horrible. 
That is actually actually really bad because I don't remember any other place that I could not have gone before. Uh oh. Unless you can break that. <laughs> I mean, obviously not. That would be. That would make no sense. Uh, I'll try it before I travel all the way back. Can I? There we go. Yeah. Didn't think so. I mean, there's nothing indicating any secret passages in these walls, right? There's really... Okay. I don't think there are. And... I have to transform into a monkey to go back up. Seriously though, where have I not been? Or... Is there any place... That I could not have gone before? I did forget about this one, sure, but there was no other... Like pool of lava, no other similar place. I killed every single enemy except for that one uh, little rock hermit crab in the very first corridor, and then I'm, maybe I'm maybe I am forgetting. Maybe I'm, I am forgetting, and there was something to do there. It's possible, I guess. It's my my only idea right now. I'm gonna go back up there. Oh, uh, yeah, this is gonna be awkward as monkey. Way too floaty. I, mean, I guess I'm gonna take one one more look down here. We did start the dungeon by going all the way down to the bottom. So maybe it is back up that we want to go. Right, there is lava here. In fact, this was the first time we encountered lava. And that was just to turn... Hmm. It could be something hiding down there, but it's most likely just death. Hmm. What the heck? Yep, it's just death. Okay. Now I know. So, uh, yeah. Maybe we just need to go back up. I guess ultimately going down what our goal going down was to get the next transformation. So we did that. What was up on this level? Okay, this was a fight room. Where I accidentally solved the puzzle, such as it was, right? Side. Right, these were the actually these were the passages uh, that were blocked by stalactites. So I absolutely opened both of those. No need to double check. And this is the beginning. Yeah, beginning of the vertical shaft. So I guess I'm gonna kill this final enemy. Obviously, I'm not expecting this one to drop me the key I'm missing. It's interesting that what I'm missing is a key for progress. something I forgot. Okay, so my first initial hunch was correct, I just forgot that... Well, I don't know, I was just incorrect in thinking that there was nothing in the very first room. That is not the correct transformation, please. Up here as a as an elephant, but I am gonna turn back and I'm just gonna quickly double check. But I'm pretty sure. I mean, I, I really should not be saying anything like that. But uh, pretty sure that this is just leading back to the entrance at this point. Um, I'm not gonna go further back, just in case that counts as resetting the dungeon, which I would rather avoid. Okay. Anyway, progress. Progress imminent. Okay. So it looks like another kill room. Uh, I am gonna turn into an elephant and hope that there is a rock enemy to defeat that way. 
No, there's not. But that works? Okay, I mean, I happen to be the right color, I suppose. Okay. Hmm. What? What are you doing? Oh, you're just attracting me. You're just a very attractive enemy. I think I hit you? I don't think I need to kill you, though. Okay, you're doing that. I wonder if that would be more dangerous if I uh, were not in elephant form, perhaps. Nice, okay. Hm. Okay, oh, I see that. Yes! Awesome, okay. I mean, beating the dungeon, which we're probably gonna do, is uh, fine and dandy, but, you know, real mission is, of course, to find all the squids. Or rather, find at least four of the squids per dungeon. So, real mission accomplished. That's wonderful. Now we have to go back down again. Yes. All the way to the bottom and left. Back across the lava pool. And then that's where we needed the key. Cool. And since we have seen all the squids, I'm assuming that it's not going to be much further to the actual boss. Here. Please don't eat my inputs when it counts. Thank you. Right, we want to go down this one. Okay, of course. One final check. Have you learned how to turn into an elephant? Just in case you somehow made it past all those previous obstacles. Here's a few more. Oh, slow down. What? Crazy. Hey there. Yo ho! Golden Stone, come to mama! I'm on your I'm onto your risky boots. You're trying to rebuild the steam engine using all four magical relics. Well, well, you're a smart little tag along. The single piece of golden stone is the only metal strong enough to hold the other stone's power. Okay. Didn't think the that was gonna stone, gonna be stone. Uh, no, rather, I didn't think it was gonna be metal, but rather stone. Whatever. Once I have all four stones in my possession, I'll create the most powerful weapon this world has ever seen. Ho, ho, ho! All right, Santa, S Santa, Santa. What? I, I'm sensing a pattern here. Also, I did get turned back to uh, to Shante. Oh, hi there, Golem. Hmm, so I'm guessing that maybe you want to fight as her. I did want to use this this item here that uh, doubles your attack power, presumably. Or at least that's the idea. So, uh, sure, I, I do have five uses. We'll see if I can use it in here. Um, I'm trying to press up and B. So I cannot use that here. Okay. Okay. Mm. Wait, are you... Nope, you are aiming at me. Good. I mean, not really good. You did have that green crystal... Um, oh, wait. Are you aiming at me? I can't tell. Yes? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Okay, that hurts. I'm probably gonna die here. That's fine, though. Wait. Oh, okay. Got another case of the flickering... Flickering sprites. So I, sometimes I cannot see his fists. You probably can't see it can see them most of the time. And what was up with the green rock on your face? Actually, I probably do need to turn into elephant. I'm the worst at predicting where projectiles are gonna go. Oh, wait, I did not expect to respawn right here. That's surprisingly generous. Okay. Please. So this is gonna be a bit awkward. Wait, what? Seriously? Yeah, okay, so these platforms are so... Oh. I just needed to make it to the other side? Um, I am still the worst. Fireballs also flicker, by the way. Hmm. Oh, I mean... The game says, or the, the emulated claims, that I 
have a stable 60 FPS. But, um, I don't know. Still, flickering sprites do not get properly displayed. So when am I supposed to, to bonk? Clearly that's what I'm supposed to do. Wow, okay. That is mean. Oh, well, that doesn't work. I guess I can avoid those projectiles like... Well, I, I technically can avoid them like this. That doesn't do anything. Um, okay. Nope. That, those just hurt me. <sighs> I mean, you'd think that there's something on the ceiling at some point that you would cause to fall down on him. Oh god. Well, I'm just gonna die. Oh, now I use the item. Oh, uh, wait, that literally doubles me. But of course it doesn't do anything if I cannot actually attack the boss. I can't lie, this is a little bit frustrating. Am I missing something obvious? I mean, there is... this. And again, there was that green crystal visible on the boss's head. Like, before the boss... before the fight started. Oh, wait. Um... Maybe it's flickering and I'm not seeing it, but I do see the other flickering objects most of the time. His fists and the fireballs. I'm just standing here. Which of course doesn't work, because, yeah, he does that. And... yeah. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, oh god. Should I... Back out of the dungeon. I'm guessing that. Um, wait, no. My progress should be saved, right? I'm just getting reset to the save point, but I do have the squids, yes. Okay, and I have used the item. And that's good then. In that case, I most likely don't need to reopen any of the doors or do anything. I just have to travel back down the dungeon, which is gonna take two minutes. Okay, so that's really not that bad then. Which, of course, that does not solve the problem of not knowing, not, not even having any clue how to fight the boss. Unless I'm... I and mean, what could I be missing? There is that elephant tackling stone. There are platforms that are low enough to be climbed as an elephant. So that indicates that I might be might be expected to to play the entire fight in elephant mode. Which would make sense, you know? So, the last power we gain. For the monkey, it didn't make so much sense because the monkey doesn't have a way to attack, so that would have been awkward. But for the elephant, you can attack, except there is nothing to attack, unless you are supposed to tackle the boss's face, and I just didn't do it right. I mean, I did try, right? Standing on his, on his fists, and then just tackling him. Maybe I didn't do it right. I, I guess that's my best bet. And maybe that's gonna make something show up, and then... I don't know. But at some point, obviously, you're, you're expected to tackle that... Um, that uh, elephant statue to make the room shake. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna make my way back there, maybe experiment a little bit, and then once I f figured out anything, I'm going to uh, resume recording. So uh, wish me luck, and see you in a moment. Okay, so I'm back in the boss fight, and apparently I just uh, didn't do it right the first time around. Because you absolutely can't tackle his face when standing on on his hand like this. Oh, okay, wait. This, yeah, that, I guess that seems to have worked. But I'm not sure what the elephant statue is for. Okay, yeah, so you do this. Uh, last time the stone came out. Okay, it did come out this time. I mean, everything's shaking very wildly when I do this. 
Okay, it, that just defeated him. What's the point? Was this just a red herring, or was it to tip you off to remind you that there is the elephant transformation? Um, also, I don't know why I'm so dark. Pretty sure that's not what I looked like before. Yeah, okay, now... Wait, I just want to see. I just transformed immediately as the fight started. No, I guess the elephant is just that dark here. Weird. Huh. Okay, well, that turned out to be much simpler. I just thought I was convinced I had done the thing. But then actually doing it correctly trivialized the entire encounter. Pretty much. Wrench, you're back! What's this? A note from Sky? It reads, Dear Shante, someone named Rotty Tops replied to my message. She says she knows the whereabouts of the next magical stone. She travels with the zombie caravan, okay, which is camped east of Watertown. Hope this helps. Friends always, Sky. Nice. I mean, I basically already knew that I needed to be. Uh, that I needed the elephant power, the tackle power, to go further east from Watertown. But, uh, yeah, it's good to have that confirmed. Actually, though, now that I said that, wh what was it that was keeping me from going further west from here? Wait, I haven't actually tried, have I? No, I was told about the, uh, like, the swampland to the, uh, to the west of Oasis Town, but I never actually went there. But I can only assume that uh, something's gonna block me, something's gonna prevent me from progressing further after a certain point, so... I mean, so far the game has been very linear in that regard, that I absolutely needed to do these things in a certain order, so I'm... As much as I want to just explore for the sake of exploring, obviously I'm gonna go there eventually when I can actually do something, so... I'm going to fight the urge to go there quite yet. Wow, look at how excited she looks. Sounds like my next stop. Alright, I'd better go find the caravan. How convenient that we can fast travel back to Watertown. Um, I should absolutely save... Wait, I'm already saved here. That's not gonna change anything. So, what I'm gonna do is make my way back to Oasis Town, which is not that far away, but I'm probably still gonna do it off-camera because this episode is already getting a little bit long. There was that one heart piece that I can get. Uh, I did write down where it was. Hold on. Good. Wrong paper. <clears throat> here it is. Um, right. Oh, that's a little bit... That's quite a bit to the west of here. No, to the east of here, near Scuttletown. Right, I thought it was closer to here, but... I mean, I would like the extra heart. I'm pretty sure I can get it. Because it, it, it did seem to be a matter of being able to dash quickly enough to go underneath that door that closes, right? Or maybe even just tackle into it, because it seems seemed to be alive somehow. So, um, either way... And since it was the monkey that allowed us to get the first um, heart piece on the way to Watertown, it makes sense to me that it would be the elephant transformation that allows you to go grab the second heart piece on the way to Oasis Town, right? Now the thing is, I still want to unlock the teleport for Oasis Town, and not the one for Scuttle Town. It just seems more convenient in the long run to be able to teleport between these further away targets, right? Rather than have the one in the middle of the world, basically. Yeah. Um, so that probably means... Yeah, I mean, I'm still gonna go to Oasis Town first. Uh, unlock the teleport there. Maybe do some more gambling, although I'm... Well, I guess I might as well do so until I um, cap out my money. Which I'm guessing is gonna cap out at 999. Um, and then I will travel back on foot to where the heart piece is. Yeah, okay. I guess that's the plan. That's gonna take a moment, but uh, I'm gonna do most of that off-camera, so... Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna show off the heart piece, hoping that I'm correct about that one and that I can actually get it. Um, I guess you'll you'll know as soon as uh, the cut happens. Okay, here I am. Holy crap. Uh, that, that area up uh, above here with the, those Naga ladies is the worst. Those are... Uh, I mean, the... That was a pain to traverse in the western direction, but somehow it's worse going back. Anyway, I made it here. Actually, I didn't think it was this close. I thought it was like another area or two away. So that was a neat little uh, discovery. Certainly a relief. Well, please, ambulance. 
You heard you the first time. Really? Wait. That does not work. Um, unless it does and I'm just not doing it right? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. That is uh, disappointing. So much for that theory. Unless... You, you absolutely cannot do anything else after you start charging. Unless you bump into something, you're stuck with that. You cannot jump. You cannot do it while jumping. Or anything. Um, maybe you can kick this guy in, in the face, but I mean, I'm, I already can't attack. I keep using items on accident. This is the second time, actually, that I've uh, used one of these. I guess I'll just not have an item selected. Because this is obviously always going to be wasted. Hmm. I absolutely have tried climbing up there, right? I mean, that's that would have been the first time I, I'd try. Yeah, no. Didn't think so. Hmm. Unless the trick is... That's actually up here now. Huh. I mean, the other two transformations are spider. Maybe the trick is to not walk across the floor? Maybe that's what alerts the thing? And the spider might be able to walk on the ceiling or something? Hmm. Yeah, well, I really thought the game was going to be that predictable in, you know, in that way. That the first, the first transformation allows you to get the first heart piece that you find, and the second allows you to get this one on the way to the second town, but I guess not. Anyway, um, unless there's something more I could do, uh, I mean, if you have any ideas, feel free to let me know, but um, most likely I'll just, I don't know, it's probably going to become clearer as soon as I get more transformations. Anyway, let's uh, use the, uh, actually, Water Town teleport, that's right, which is very similar to the first one, or, well, yeah. Wait, yes. No, never mind. We've used that one before. But uh, the one for Oasis Zone is actually very similar. Anyway, uh, it's down, up, right, up. So I guess we've seen this before. Um, that's fine. Why am I even doing this? Right, because I wanted to shop and buy those remaining items. Down, up, right, left, BA. Let's see. Let's see, I say. Please. Down, up. Okay. okay. Down. Up, right, left, B, A. Did I do it? I did. Wow. Nice. So, now it's the save room, which is nice. Item shop. I think I might be able to afford the next two items? I'm not sure. Uh, yes, actually, sash and cuff. So the upgrade to the to the spin kick, and then also the charge attack. Oh, you're counting down all those gems very slowly. Thank you. Yes, elbow dash. And then I'll just have to do a little bit more farming. Which you know, if I every single time you win in the gambling, you win 300 coins. And so far, I I did it two more times. Once I it wasn't going so well right off the start, so I abandoned and, you know, lost a few gems. But the second time around, I got, like, two wins in a row at first, which gave me enough of a head start. And then, yeah, I don't know if it's just rigged in your favor or if, I'm been ex if I've been exceptionally lucky, but, uh, yeah, that seems like a very easy way to make all this money very quickly. Anyway, uh, I know. I meant to just back out of here. The game has a slightly infuriating... Uh, habit of just of not allowing you to just press one button to back out of any menu but you have to uh, like confirm certain text prompts with the confirm button um, and then you know back out with the uh, with the back button with the cancel button it's uh, why not just put put you know both advanced text and cancel out of menus on the cancel button so you can never accidentally get stuck in you know uh, Accidentally selecting dialogue options and whatnot. It's, it's just, I don't know, a minor convenience thing, but it uh, would make my life certainly easier. Anyway, uh, we are... we want to do this. Oh, holy moly. 
so that's what that does. I see. I was not expecting the diagonal, but, um, I mean, I'm assuming that's powerful, at least? Seems a bit hard to use. Wait. Um, wasn't that just charge the button? Hold the attack button? To charge? Hmm. Can you tell me again? Uh, hold down attack to charge up a mighty elbow dash. Right. Huh. Maybe you cannot do it here. But I can attack normally, so... I'm holding the one attack button that there is. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'll probably figure that out next time. I guess uh, for next episode I'm going to make my way all the way as far east as I can to that uh, wall that I am hopefully going to be able to break down. It didn't look particularly brittle, but I mean, it was clearly a kind of wall with something behind it. And, you know, I do have the uh, elephant now, so I'm guessing that's where I need to go. So, uh, yeah, I'll make my way there, and uh, we'll continue toward the zombie caravan, I suppose. Um, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.